So a lot of you have been asking for it and I'm here to deliver. If you're new and do end up enjoying today's content, make sure you hit that like button or that subscribe button. So the method that I'm gonna be introducing to you all is the dashboard method. Now, it is not necessary to complete these moments as I did all these moments without ever having to use it once, but I will tell you all how to do it just to make it easier for you all. So what the dashboard method is, before you fail the requirement for that specific goal, what you can do is you can press the pause button home and then close application as soon as possible hop back into the game and you will be at the point prior to entering that specific game it works best for multi-game moments does not work great for single game moments i wouldn't even use it for single game moments so for example you have length three games you cannot give up one hitter or walk a batter hit a batter or throw a wild pitch so let's say you throw the first game perfectly second game perfectly and now you're in game number three and Aaron Hicks, let's say gets a base hit. Before the play finishes or the fielder fields the ball, you wanna pause it, close application, and then hop back into the game. And it will take you back to the start of game three where all you have to do is throw that perfect inning. And then you wanna rinse and repeat if you keep on failing. Same thing goes for Mr. October. Now, if you don't get two extra base hits and at least three hits in the first game, then I would just keep restarting at game number one. But if you do get two hits and then game number two, you don't get any hits at all. Before game number two ends, you might wanna do this on what you believe will be your final at bat because it will be a lot easier. You just go ahead and pause it, close application, and then go back into the moments and you'll start off at game number two, which is perfect. For the diamonds back to back, all you have to do is play it out. There's really no way for me to help you guys. Just try to pull the ball with Dyson, with Cattell Marte, and David Peralta. They have a short right field and definitely home run hittable. For the Pujols trio, what I did was I started swinging with power because it seemed like X was taking me nowhere and he was able to hit two bombs with me swinging with power and that's what you're most likely gonna have to do. You're gonna have to hit two home runs. So if you don't hit that home run in your first at bat, keep restarting until you hit a home run in your first at bat because it will take all the pressure off. And then we go to Starters, Star Joe's Spectacular Series it's the same method as the previous one where it's multiple games and you can use the dashboard method especially if you hit a home run in the first one and then get no hits in the second one just keep restarting at the second one until you knock out some of the requirements left and it's going to make it a lot easier for the 10 run comeback i would suggest if you don't score four to five runs in that first inning that you hit keep restarting keep restarting no matter what until you score four to five runs and then for joey gallo you're gonna have to use the dashboard method again. If you hit a home run in game number one, but don't hit a home run in game number two, or game number two is about to finish and you don't have a home run just yet, you wanna pause it before it ends, close app, and then hop back into game number two, knowing you only need six home runs and you still have nine games left. And then for this one, it is pivotal. If you wanna knock this out the fastest way possible, as soon as you give up more than two runs, no matter how many strikeouts you have, just close app and hop back into the game every single time because these hitters will smoke you it's on hall of fame difficulty so it will smoke you and you're more likely to give up more runs than you are to get all k's then the onus wagner mission tally 10 total bases it was pretty much the easiest one you're playing at polo grounds what i did was i pulled a home run and then i hit one up taco and then he hit one in the gap that turned into a triple gave me 10 total bases pretty easily i don't think this one will be hard for anyone at all and then down five versus signature series Kenley Jansen. What you're gonna want to do is load up your entire team, even bench full of lefties. Since Kenley Jansen is the only pitcher from the Dodgers available, no one in the bullpen. And then you're gonna take pitches. Don't swing unless you have two strikes. That's the best advice I got for you. And then we got to the common versus signature series squad. This was pretty easy for me as well. I just hit two back-to-back -back home runs with common players and beat them two to zero. I was able to shut them out at polo grounds. So try to pull the ball off Bob Gibson and sit fastball. That's the best advice I can give you. Just sit fastball. And then last but not least, we have the nine inning Diamond Dynasty squad. Everything is pretty easy and straightforward. The only thing I would suggest is maybe having two pinch runners on the bench that can definitely hit and play the field just in case you need some help on stealing the base. But that's all the tips and guys I got for you guys at Moments Extreme. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a blessed day and night.